We understand that not all students are here to pursue tenure track positions at universities. Because of this, we feel it's important to help you broaden your skill set and make you a more effective scientist no matter what career path you decide upon. The answer to that question varies widely depending on your field, but one thing that we do know is that students today are pursuing an increasingly diverse set of career options after they leave graduate school. As part of my job, I'm involved in several efforts to help prepare you for your career after UT Austin. I provide one-on-one -on -one consultations on your career planning, and this can include a variety of topics. For example, I can work with you to develop your individual development plan that will help you to navigate your uh, career planning throughout your entire graduate training. I can also work with you to explore a set of possible career paths that might be of interest to you. And also I can work with you throughout the entire job application process. That includes uh, job search, preparation of a resume, cover letter, uh, interview, as well as uh, offer evaluation and salary negotiation. Also, I can work with you on developing your networking contacts. A key part of your career planning is to develop an individual development plan. Essentially, IDP is a career planning tool that is designed to support, plan, and track your career development and learning opportunities. It's a tool that is strongly encouraged by a funding agency such as National Institute of Health that a mentor and a mentee will develop and use and period periodically review and update throughout the entire mentee's training period. I can work with you to develop your individual development plan in three stages. In the first stage, I will work with you to do some self-assessment in which we will examine your skill, interests, and values. And based on the result of self-assessment, I will work with you to explore a set of possible career options that might be of interest and fit for you. In the second stage, I will work with you to identify possible skill and uh, knowledge and experiences that will facilitate uh, your uh, future career path. And in the third stage, I will work with you to develop your uh, networking contact that will help to mentor you and guide you in the pursuit of your career path. Uh, now I will talk about our professional development seminars. Uh, these seminars are held during lunchtime on third Tuesday of every month. And this seminar covers a variety of topics. And these topics may include panel discussions related to uh, professorship in research universities as well as the teaching colleges. And also these uh, topics may include panel discussions related to various non-academic career, such as working for government, consulting, uh, data science, and the high-tech industries. And also these topics will include workshops that focus on job search strategies as well as uh, preparation of application documents and uh, interviews. And of course, we provide uh, free pizza and soft drinks for all the attendees. CNS offers inclusive classrooms workshops, which helps to reinforce what you have a right to expect as a student. It helps to make you a better instructor, and it helps to enhance your ability to interact effectively with an increasingly diverse workforce after you leave UT Austin. We've also launched a series of foundational skills workshops that cover five areas, resolving conflict, effective communication, disability, being a responsible employee, and becoming resilient. Finally, we offer free courses through the College of Natural Sciences that allow students to earn concentrations in teaching and mentoring, leadership and management, and communicating your science. Um, hi, my name is Matthew Landry. I'm a fourth year doctoral student in nutritional sciences, and I've done two concentrations, uh, leadership and project management, and teaching and mentoring. My name is Emma Dietrich, and I'm in the Ecology, Evolution, and Behavior graduate program in the Department of Integrative Biology, and I took the teaching and mentoring concentration and the science communications concentration. I thought they were a great way to get some of those skills that you might not get in a traditional science curriculum um, in kind of a low stakes, no pressure kind of course. I think that it's a great opportunity um, to get those skills. You're not paying any additional tuition and they're offered to you um, as kind of a bonus and it's a really unique opportunity 
to learn from some distinguished professors from across the university that you might not have exposure to otherwise from the um, Moody College or from McCombs, whatever it may be. Um, and that's a really unique opportunity that the College of Natural Sciences provides. It was really, um, it was a very different science communications course because we learned not only about how to communicate, but about the science of communication and what communication practices have been shown to be more effective. They were kind of extra classes that you do in addition to your curriculum, but they were some of the classes that I looked most forward to going to, um, just because I always like learning a little bit different things. Um, and it was fun to learn something truly different. Well, I didn't think that either was a huge time commitment, but they, I still could get a lot out of them. And you can even just put in as much time as you have to either one, um, depending on how important the skill set is for the concentration that you're taking for your future career. Um, they haven't interfered with my degree at all. In fact, I, I think they've definitely helped booster my um, career and my CV. I think they're just wonderful skills that you gain from the class that no matter whether you stay in academia or you go into industry, government, whatever it may be, those are skills that you can take with you. The practicum, we really spent a little bit more time using those skills in, and practicing how we would approach different communication scenarios like communicating with a friend versus communicating to a large audience. Um, and we even practice, you know, how to figure out who your audience is and target your message to that audience, things like that. So just looking at my course instructor um, survey results from when I started um, here at UT to my, most, my last semester, um, they've gone up dramatically. Um, and I think that's a result of the teaching and mentoring um, concentration. Getting those skills, I'm able to go into the classroom and be a much more effective instructor. In the science communications concentration, you know, we learned a lot about how being a better communicator is key to being a good scientist because you have to be able to, you know, communicate to grant agencies, to collaborators, just to your peers essentially, and you have to be able to communicate why your science is important for anyone to, to care about it. Absolutely, I would highly recommend um, that any of the students coming in choose the classes that they really think they would benefit from um, to be able to kind of take with them in the future.